Oh my God, the hair's already up. I look like a potato when I have it slicked back like that. But sure, listen, that's the way it is. I look like what I'm trying to grow. <laughs> I'm also trying to grow flowers, but I'm not looking like them. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to this week's garden video. The weeks are going by so quickly. Please tell me I'm not alone in thinking that because oh, I don't know where the weeks are going at all. But it is a lovely day here. I think it's supposed to rain later, but we're going to try and get out and get the bits done in the garden. The mission today is to clear out the two veg beds that already have veg in there. So there is rainbow chard. So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to give some to my friend. Um, she's really looking forward to giving that a go. And then there's celery that I'm going to harvest and just like give out amongst like family and friends because there's so much. I felt that I harvested a lot of it um, earlier in the year, especially when I was doing kind of soups and stews and that. Um, but I don't like celery. So that is a learning. And I think I spoke about that in Catherine and I's uh, last chit chat video. I'm always saying to people, oh, grow what you like to eat. I don't like celery. I like it in soups and you can't taste it. <laughs> and I know it's good for you. I just don't like it. Um, and then what else do I have? I've leeks there that I'm going to take up today. I'm very excited about those because I bought potatoes this morning when I was doing the food shop. And I'm going to make a big, huge batch of potato and leek soup. I'm going to keep some leeks because I might do like a chicken pie with leftover chicken on Monday because I want to do roast chicken on Sunday. I'm going to clear out those veg beds. I'm going to put soil conditioner in there that I bought um, last month or the month before. I can't remember. Whenever I bought the veg bed, I bought two bags of soil conditioner and that's going to give the soil in the veg beds the nutrients back because the plants that are in there like are taking the nutrients all the time and haven't fed anything in there in ages. So that's what we're going to do today. There's a couple more things that I'm going to try and do as well depending on like the weather and the time frame. And lads, so I was away for a couple of days this week on a press trip with Boots and it was lovely. We went to England, very nice. I'll be showing it in action over on Instagram if you want to go and have a little look. But they have a new range out, it's called Future Renew. Got to see the size behind it. Anyway, over there for a couple of days and I forgot to say to my mum to like take or to like lift open or roll up the, the door of the greenhouse and take the bits out, like take the lids off because I put the lids on lads. I know I'm giving out about mould. But I'm like, I'm trying to protect them from the slugs, right? So I was like, right, I'll just put them on and I'll leave the little ventilation things open, right? Just for the couple of days. So this morning I went out to take everything out and there was two slugs in the things with the, with the lids, like, on them. <sighs> so they must have gone in through the part of the holes. The holes weren't open, like, fully. Oh my God, I was just like... And then I had a little look in Woody's today and they didn't have any zinnia seeds. That's great. So I'm going to look in a garden centre over the weekend, I think. I feel like I'm really behind on sowing seeds and everything. Because I remember at the start of the year thinking, oh, this is going to be great. I've got to have lots of seeds. Where am I going to put all the flowers and plants that I'm growing? Slugs are eating them all. But I am going to use some of the suggestions that you guys made in last week's video. And thank you so much. Because sometimes when you're in the Jardin and you're kind of going, oh my God, is it just me? Am I rubbish? Are my seeds taking so long to germinate? Is it, am I doing stuff wrong? And blah, blah, blah. And there are so many of you who are having the same issues with slugs and who had different kind of solutions. So a few people were saying the beer traps. Then, um, oh my God, what's that thing called? Like eggshells around and then copper as well. And then people say hair. Now I'm always like molting. So I'm going to give that a go. Just found two slugs having an absolute chomp today. I have to now get all of the compost out of the car and... I just I need to actually change my t-shirt because this is relatively nice and I don't want it to be full of muck and everything. Let's get cracking on this week's jobs in the garden. Actually, what are you doing in the garden this week? I need to know, am I on par? Um, am I behind? No, I don't need to know if I'm behind because then I'll just freak out and be like, Mah! it's just the time is just flying by so fast. But anyway, right, let's go outside. Okay, so see those six bags of compost. I don't think that's going to be enough for there. Now we do need to take out a few weeds. I'm going to throw them all in and let that sit because I don't know if you can see there's a dirty big rain cloud coming over <laughs> but sure listen it'll be grand so yeah I just got that stuff because I've never used it before so it's peat free multi-purpose is it peat free yes sorry <laughs> it's up on the top there peat free and then I got this stuff as well because I want to grow lots of lettuce and salads and stuff like that I think in pots so see this container up here that I'm going to clear that out even though the pollinators love them yellow flowers so they are um broccoli flowers I just let the broccoli plants go to seed and they're having a ball up there but I think I'm going to move that and put it at the end here 
to see if an archway will fit even if, if it's close to there now can I just show you something so see them things that thing the I still can't remember the name of them but look that one's doing great there that one's doing okay and now this one just doesn't seem that happy there so this side seems to get a bit more sun than over there I think but no do you know what it'll be interesting to kind of see and this is how I'll figure out like what to leave where over kind of the autumn and the winter and spring next year but no also that flower bed looks like a decent size there I need to weed out some of the grass there but when I'm standing at the back door it looks really small now I know I can like expand and ex you know extend it as much as I want so I'm just watering my sweet peas because I think I'm going to plant those out today um, and like these poor little things Jesus God love them they've just been there for so long these are beans but um, I'm hoping that over the course of like the next week or so all of this table will be planted out sorted and then in like a week or two we're going to tackle this area the cottage Jardin area most of the tulips are finished now which is sad to see but when they do I'm going to move all these pots um, around to the side of the house I'm going to deadhead them so I think you just take off oops so I think you just take off that part I need to like double check just to make sure and that means all the goodness will go back into the bulbs for next year um, and then I'm going to put some cottage garden pots here instead because I kind of like having this corner as like a feature area and it kind of makes this part of the border look like a little bit thicker a little bit fuller let's empty the compost in let's clear out those veg beds also look <laughs> look at these the little straws so I'm just doing strawberries in pots this year and um, so I have those ones there I have more along there as well some in there I think strawberries in pots are nice and then I can kind of protect them that bit more they're not taking up like a whole veg bed so all right let's get cracking only one celery plant one and um, I had to wash my hands because I, I could feel slug juice on them but I'm just gonna leave them sitting there same with the leeks same with the charge and just let any bugs kind of jump off if they want but like look how big these plants are <laughs> oh my god if I ever do something like this again just make sure I don't plant as many and make sure I harvest them in here you might have seen me putting that bag of stuff in there that's soil conditioner and um, so that's going to replenish the nutrients whenever i take that celery down i'll do the same thing as well i'll weed in there and put soil conditioner I probably will need a couple of plants of that or a couple of bags of soil conditioner look at all the leeks that i have oh i'm gonna have a great time making soup i can't wait for the roses to finally climb up either side of the archway so i'm kind of just like tying them in week by week just encourage them and then hopefully that will be a lovely rose arch like is my apple tree looking great oh just fab We've got the 
soil conditioner in that one but I think I could probably do with adding another bag or two of compost in there so I'll go and get some over the weekend and do that but this is what I'm thinking so for this bed I'm gonna put the corn on the cob not yet because they're still too small and the slugs will have a field day and I also want to get bark I think for the back of the borders I'll use the strimmer and kind of cut down the weeds and stuff like that and then put bark to help suppress them um, and then I'm thinking what am I thinking corn in the cob and maybe carrots I want to plant those out I usually do, well I usually I did it once the end of May to stop carrot fly and I think I'll put some peas and beans in there peas and beans in here at the back and use kind of the fence as a bit of like a support and put like tomatoes in there and basil and stuff I'm so excited I just think that looks so good you kind of miss the height of having the biggest celery known to man wouldn't you <laughs> sure about that uh, container there <laughs> after all that but the idea is that I want to have the other archway there and grow like sweet peas up it it's like I'll plant some on both sides but I think it looks a bit clunky I don't know <laughs> it's like what if I put like a few little flowers in front of it or something maybe we won't even notice it so cute because I'm thinking like sweet peas or even like tomatoes or like regular peas or beans hanging or growing over those now what I will say is the quality it's okay you can see this one's gone all like rusted and like here see the paint is kind of chipping so like if you have a higher budget I definitely recommend getting something that bit better but you know what I didn't know last year if this was going to work or not and I didn't want to spend like loads of money on something and then be like no I don't like it but I actually love this part of the garden so much and look I think it looks so nice with all of the the bits like that those are going to be full of colour hopefully and like you could put like twinkly lights on there as well you might get like a little bit of privacy in this little vegetable room okay so I think I'm going to plant some sweet peas now I feel bad for that erigeron where are we? That Erigeron, but I think I'll just leave it there for now and see what happens. I can always like dig it up in the autumn, but oh, I think that looks great. So let's see how the sweet peas go on this side when they get like a little bit longer I will tie them on and same here and what I'll probably do is maybe put like string across like 
the middle of each section just to make sure I just want this to be completely full not just have kind of like two stripes but hopefully this will be full of sweet peas that we can pick and I got some gorgeous little vases last week and um, like little tiny little ones for storing my blooms but I think that that is enough for today <laughs> god the carnage okay we're done for today the hands need to be washed I need to be washed I feel filthy that was a good day's work wasn't it um I feel the better of having like the veg beds cleared out ready to be I think it's supposed to rain as well so that'll kind of like settle down the compost in there I'll get more compost over the weekend and start planting out stuff I hope the sweet peas grow and we have like a little sweet pea archway like even if you don't have like an archway you can use like um last year I put my sweet peas in pots and I just had um those bamboo sticks and I kind of tied them to make like a teepee I think Catherine did that with hers this year as well but listen thanks a million for watching I'll see you in next week's video and happy gardening what did you get up to this week let me know I love hearing what everybody's up to because it just inspires me it gives me motivation to keep going anyway try for a cup of tea wash the hands wash the face get some wine for later <laughs>